The Academy Nutrition Assessment Book has a section on anemia panels, and they put, um, they talk about the four main types of anemia. They have anemia chronic disease, iron deficiency anemia, megaloblastic or folate deficiency anemia, and then pernicious anemia or B12 deficiency anemia. Our uh, iron deficiency anemia, we're going to see that in our blood loss, pregnant, or children. Um, we basically were losing iron, right? Or we have increased needs for that iron, so we're not getting enough like with rapid growth or pregnancy. Our megaloblastic or folate deficiency anemia, um, we will see folate deficiency typically, you know, in pregnant women, uh, tropical sprue, or infants whose mothers have this uh, megaloblastic folate deficiency anemia. Um, but also we might say B, uh, B12 deficiency in these folks. Um, and that might be from not getting enough B12 in the diet, like vegans, or absorption issues, possibly Crohn's disease or dumping syndrome, um, versus pernicious anemia, which is B12 deficiency. This is specifically towards um, the intrinsic factor and uh, the gastric juices that are needed to have B12 absorbed. Um, so it might be the gastric juices aren't being made or um, it's typically dealing with that intrinsic factor. And there's a test called the Schilling's test and that will basically be looking at if they need that intrinsic factor or not to be able to absorb the B12. So those are our four main types. Um, in all four of these types, it's really easy to kind of point out when we're looking for anemia is the decreased hemoglobin and the decreased hemocrit. So that's kind of our first sign for these anemias. Um, I will go in on another video and talk about the lab values specifically, um, but I wanted us to kind of get a big picture of the four different types and what, me, what might be going on when you see those types.